family, friends, faculty and staff, honored guests, and most importantly, to the class of 2020, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I certainly hope this ceremony finds you well, surrounded by family, wearing your caps and gowns, with your tassels on the right. Your tassels should be on the right. I am John Schreckegas, principal here at Canal High School, and tonight I welcome you to the 22nd commencement ceremony of our school, recognizing, honoring, the best that we can do today, the class of 2020. I would like to thank the senior members of our band for providing the pomp and circumstance performance for the opening of our ceremony. Seniors and our director, Ms. Kim Mogensen, thank you. At this time, I would ask us all to please stand as I welcome the senior members of our choir under the direction of Mr. Luke Whitehair, who will lead us through our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. That was outstanding. Thank you, and even under the most difficult of circumstances, you continue to impress. Once again, to the members of our band and chorus, thank you. Job well done. I extend my gratitude to all of the special guests that I'm sure are joining us watching the ceremony tonight. To our Board of Education members, President Ms. Tammy Harper, Vice President Mr. Dick Smith, and the Board of Ed members, Mr. Mark Anderson, Captain Beverly Kelly, and Ms. Michelle Morissette. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I also welcome, certainly, our Superintendent, Dr. Kane, and Dr. Kane's executive team. Our Deputy Superintendent, Mr. Greg Belusky, our Director of Human Resources, Ms. Vanessa Bass, our Chief Financial Officer, Mr. John Fister, our Director of Operations, Mr. Sid Pender, and Ms. Janet Pulse, our Supervisor of Principals. I also welcome the many content supervisors and the many elected officials that always make it a priority to attend our commencement events each year. They show their support, their respect of our graduates by attending our ceremonies. I know that you are once again with us tonight, and I thank you very much for that. And without a doubt, the staff of Ken Allen High School is with us, including our senior class advisors, Ms. Hannah Capadia and Ms. Andrea Schulte, and our administrative team, our, ac our academic dean, Ms. Stacy Rankin, and our assistant principals, Ms. Carrie Minton, Ms. Billy Rice, and Mr. Dan Harding. Believe me when I tell you, they all absolutely wish that they could have seen you in person tonight. And to the Hopkins, the Moldens, the Pedraza, and the Walenskis families, congratulations and welcome. Now, it is my pleasure to address our graduates, I introduce our superintendent, Dr. King. Good evening, parents, family, friends, staff, and most importantly, good evening, graduates. 
Again this year, I can say that it has been my honor to serve as your superintendent. To say that this has been an extraordinary year would be an understatement. Do you remember when we lost sleep over trying to figure out how to fund covers for the turf field so that we could have graduation outdoors? Somehow we find a way to put issues that seemed devastating into perspective when the truly unthinkable actually happens. The class of 2020 will forever be remembered for your ability to adapt and persevere. When you left school on March 13th, no one could have predicted that you would finish your senior year at home. But you did, and you made the most of it. You completed your coursework, and you took your AP exams at home. Some of you even transformed your living rooms into club quarantine and danced with Rihanna and Michelle Obama. You are connected by your memories. You've also had opportunities to learn important lessons in some pretty unique ways. For example, you learned the importance of being resilient. Resilience is your ability to handle stress and to bounce back with positivity and with respect to others. Resilience has been called the mental muscle that everyone has. If we want our muscles to be strong, we have to use them. The odd thing about being resilient is that you have to keep overcoming adversity in order to do it. As you know, things aren't always going to be easy. So when the challenges come, believe that you can get through them because you can. You're stronger than you might think. You've also learned the importance of being courageous. One of my favorite movies is called We Bought a Zoo. One of the main characters is Matt Damon, and in a conversation with his two children, he says to them, sometimes all you need is 20 seconds of courage. Literally, 20 seconds of just embarrassing bravery. And I promise you, something great will come of it. Whenever I'm anxious about something or whenever I need an extra boost of confidence, I remind myself that I can do just about anything for 20 seconds. Once that thing is over, I'm proud of myself. So I know firsthand that it really does work. Be courageous. Finally, I hope that you've learned to show grace to others. Especially in times like this, you never know what people are going through. Demonstrations of kindness and a gentle approach breed gratitude. You'll come out on the winning end every time. So class of 2020, on behalf of my executive team, the school board, and the entire Queen Anne's County Public Schools family, I congratulate you on earning your high school diploma. Whatever path you decide to take after today, I hope that it's personally fulfilling, that it makes your family proud, and that it brings value to others. I'll leave you with a quote from one of my fam favorite musicians, Drake. When writing the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. Congratulations, class of 2020. Well done. Thank you, Dr. Kane, for bringing your message today and for your everyday support of Ken Island High School. Thank you. During the next few minutes, I will present to you four more outstanding members of the class of 2020. First, I welcome to the podium the president of the class of 2020, Ms. Scholar Pedraza. Good evening, everyone. Classmates, family, friends, teachers, thank you so much for tuning in this evening for a very different kind of commencement. To begin, I feel obligated to say that obviously no one ever thought high school would end this way for the Kent Island High School class of 2020. However, as Beyonce said, if everything was perfect, you would never grow and you would never learn. So, I'd say as a class, we've grown and learned so much during our world's current situation. But, because we've all been living this virus since March, let's not focus on it for just a little bit. 
This has not only been the fastest four years of our life, but definitely four of the most memorable. Remember Kent Island's largest class ever crammed into the annex freshman year and our first homecoming? That was almost four years ago. Leaving Kent Island High School means no more standardized testing, no more being told to be quiet every day during the buck report, and no more sitting in bridge traffic before and after school. But what it does mean is we survived the drama, our long nights of cramming and work were worth it, and that we are now stepping into a world of new and exciting opportunities. For myself, and I'd say a large part of our graduating class, we won't be using Sogatoa and our great annotating skills to go about the rest of life or solve any problems that may come our way. Instead, we'll be using our convincing persuasion skills that we learned by asking the teachers to round our 88% up to a 90, our ability to express gratitude gained during amazing service learning experiences, our ability to ask for help even when it seemed a little embarrassing, which we learned through those times in class where it felt like everyone understood the concept except you. If you ever had a couple classes with me, you might know I was normally the one asking those questions. Our graduating class is such an amazingly smart and strong group of individuals, lucky enough to grow up in such a wonderful place with an, extra, with an incredibly supportive community. I'm beyond grateful for both of those things. We all do great things and reach success no matter where our next chapter of life takes us. I'd like to thank all my teachers who pushed me to go a little further and put up with my talking, my parents who helped me every step of the way in and out of school, and all my friends throughout high school who made it the most memorable time of my life. Always keep in the back of your mind what Kanye West said. If you have the opportunity to play this game called life, you have to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's past. I love and will miss you, Ken Island High School. Lastly, KI or die. Thank you, Skyler. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the president of our Student Government Association, Mr. Thomas Molden. Good evening, teachers, administration, staff, honored guests, family, friends, and the great class of 2020. For me, it's an honor to be able to speak at the 22nd Annual Commencement Ceremony here at Canellan High School, and it's an even greater honor to speak at the first virtual ceremony. Regardless of wherever in the world you may be sitting or standing right now, or whenever in the future you may be watching this, just know that on this Thursday, May 28th, 2020, we, the class of 2020, are taking our first steps into the new unknown. Whenever you first arrived at Canellan High School, whether that was August of 2016 or sometime between then and now, this has become your home. You presented many challenges over the years. You knew you were guaranteed academic challenges, but you quickly learned that your time in high school is not just your time spent on campus. It included the countless hours of homework you completed, the days spent worrying over SATs, AP exams, and finals, and the weeks of planning put in events such as our homecoming, spirit weeks, and pep rallies. In the fall, we were guaranteed a homecoming weekend sim similar to those we had participated in before and those before us. As president of our school-wide student government, I had the amazing privilege of overseeing the new homecoming weekend schedule. Despite your opinion on the changes, I believe our class spectacularly led the rest of the school in adjusting to these changes in different circumstances. Our school spirit and willingness to adapt triumphed over all the negatives associated with change. The second semester was no different. We were guaranteed a senior year, completed with all three seasons. Unfortunately, we only got to enjoy two. We were guaranteed a senior awards night, guaranteed a prom in April, guaranteed a senior cookout, guaranteed graduation practices, and guaranteed the excitement of walking across the stage this evening. However, as we've all learned, there are no guarantees in life. You see, it's easy to build expectations of the future. Although we cannot see the path in front of us, it is often tempting to look at the path behind us and imagine what may lie ahead. I, like many of you, built expectations of my senior year. I saw what the alumni before us had experienced, and I expected the same for myself. As my year went on, those expectations were broken. Some were subverted, but most were exceeded. While it's hard not to feel lost in the world because the future is so unclear, I, I argue that the lesson to be learned is extremely clear. Building expectations take you away from the moment. The anticipation of the future robs you of the present. The first day I walked up those steps of the annex to my biology class, I had the whole future of my high school experience mapped out in my head. Day in and day out, that image of the future faded, 
and the memories I got to experience were unlike anything I could have imagined. I worked harder than I ever could have imagined. I laughed harder than I ever could have imagined. I dreamed harder than I ever could have imagined. And yes, while I think I cried more than I ever could have imagined, I think I smiled a lot more. So what's it going to be, KI? Are you ready to take on the future? Are you ready for your future to exceed all the expectations you made for yourself? For me, if it's anything like the last four years, I know I am. So I hope you are too. We are strong, we are hopeful, and we are excited, Ken Island. We are the class of 2020. Thank you, Thomas. I introduce to you now the salutatory of the class of 2020, Mr. Teddy Walensis. Hello, class of 2020. I never really expected to be giving a graduation speech, much less like this, but life finds ways to throw curveballs at all of us. While it may feel hard for us to come to terms that we're starting the next chapter of our lives soon, as we sit in the comfort of our parents' homes, the freedom we've dreamed of since we were little kids is becoming a reality shortly. As we find ourselves frantically wondering what's next in the coming months, I, however, would like to give some thought on the long term. Just a few days ago, a friend of mine passed away. He was less than a month away from graduating from the high school he previously attended. While it hasn't been easy, something I've been able to take away from this experience is that life is a valuable gift that we should never take for granted. We each have one life, and we're given it to do as we please. We don't have to take life by the easy road. Life has its way of throwing the unexpected at us. I don't think that statement could be any more clear given the past three months. But even when life tries to best us, never take that as an excuse to give up or settle for less. I've seen with my own eyes the passion and drive that every student at Ken Island has within themselves. I often hear the saying, things happen for a reason when things go wrong. However, I think a better way to look at this is by the phrase, life is what you make of it. Life will never be perfect, and it's always been that way. We can best enjoy this experience by making the most of each opportunity we are given, seeking goals at every stage of life, and having a passion for what's beyond. There's no magical win life button, and there never will be. After today, we will be more than just buccaneers. We will be full members of society, with endless opportunities to change the world. Even within the short span of four years, I've seen the countless clubs and events created and led by members of our class. I know our class has the potential to do big and amazing things. With that being said, I wish you all luck. Whether it be in 5, 10, or 20 years, I can't wait to see the change you make in our world. Thank you. Thank you, Teddy. I present to you now our academic leader, the member of our senior class earning the rank of one the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Mr. Sam Hopkins. This is not how I expected my senior year to go. Over the last few months, I've spent a lot of time thinking about what I could have been doing and what I wish I was doing. And I'm sure all of you have been doing the same. From senior cookouts to sports championships, we've missed out on a lot. But this will end. Eventually, we will be free to continue on, living like this whole thing never happened. But we shouldn't live on like this never happened. When this pandemic is behind us, we should look back and reflect on all that time we spent bored out of our minds, making lists in our head of all the wonderful things we could have been doing. And then we should get started on doing all of those wonderful things. This strange time is an opportunity to dream, but dreams are nothing if you don't take advantage of them. Class of 2020, I know that you have what it takes to make your dreams reality. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Sam. Skylar, Thomas, Teddy, Sam, excellent job. Thank you very, very much. To the class of 2020, I say this to you. As difficult as it may seem, you can learn something from every experience you encounter. If you choose, there's always something to be learned. If you are willing to stop and reflect on your circumstance, there is always something to be gained. Weeks ago, when I wore a mask into a local store for the first time, it was overwhelming. It was scary to me. It all seemed suddenly so real. When I got back into my vehicle, I thought about the reason that I wore that mask 
Why did I do that? For the most part, as you know, the experts say that my mask protects you from me. I started to think about that, and I started to think about what it means to be part of a community. Kent Island, Chester, Graysonville, Queen Anne's County, the Eastern Shore. I started to think about the responsibilities that we each had as a member of our community. As Teddy shared earlier, life is what you make it. I totally agree. Hard work pays off, and you have heard me say that time and time again. I ask this, though, of you today. Take a moment to realize how much of an impact your daily actions, your daily adherence to sound decisions, how much those can impact the lives around you, that surround you within our community. I thought about the extent of our individual rights, our individual freedoms. And I thought about when our actions may infringe upon those of others, whether we mean to or not. Masks is certainly where my thinking started. Though then, the thought of other responsibilities came to my mind. I once again thought about one that is very important to me, one that we have not had a chance to discuss this year, and that is our presence, our attention, our focus when we get into a vehicle, as a driver or as a passenger. Sadly, a very common behavior while driving distracted involves our cell phones. When we get into our vehicles, we enter a community in a vehicle which could significantly impact those around us. If we do not recognize and accept the responsibility of driving while not distracted, I issue this short challenge in the time that we have. Try it. Enter your vehicle, put down your phone, train yourself, realize that the text messages, the Snapchats, Facebook will wait until you arrive. If you are a passenger in a vehicle and the driver becomes distracted, say something. I guarantee you'll be impressed with their response to you. If you know that someone is driving, don't text them. Don't be the reason they become distracted. Do it for yourself so that you are better able to respond to another driver that's distracted. Do it for those that you care about that are in your vehicle with you. Do it for those members of our community that share the same roads, and they rely on us all to make good decisions when we are behind the wheel. Do it so that we all make it home. Perhaps the crisis that we are facing now allows us a chance to better appreciate the role within our community, our role, within our community, to better realize the individual responsibilities that we assume by being part of a community. And perhaps we better understand how very, very connected we all are and how greatly our actions can indeed impact the lives of those around us. We each play a very important and a very impactful role within our community. And it is up to each of us to determine what impact that will be. Certainly, 
there is always something to be learned. Seniors, I have enjoyed you, and I very much appreciate you. I thank you very much for enabling me to say once again that Kent Island High School is better today because of you. Your efforts, your leadership have not gone unnoticed. Those that fill your seats on the future will do so using your example. I appreciate tremendously your example. You indeed have further defined what it means to be a Buccaneer, and you will always be welcomed here. This is normally the time that I joke with a senior class and say, you are always welcomed here, though we could use a few weeks break, right? A little time of separation is a good thing. In this case, it's very, very different. We very much look forward to seeing you during the first two weeks of June for our next event. A few weeks ago, I had a conversation with one of your classmates, Kylie Marston. She stated how wonderful it would be if we could just create a few additional memories together. I agreed, and she will tell you that. Now, we have the opportunity to do that, and we very much look forward to seeing you in June. Dr. Kane, Members of the Board of Education, I confidently state that the class of 2020, they are prepared. And I say to you that those that they encounter beyond today will be most impressed. Seniors, I wish the absolute best for you. I share with you now our presentation, recognizing, honoring each member of the class of 2020. As we present our graduates, please remember that you are able to pause our presentation at any moment to fully appreciate the accomplishments that are listed. We hope that you enjoy our presentation, honoring our seniors. Joanna Abbott. Brady Adams. Savannah Adams. Alian Ahmad. Jared Asquith. Aaron Alsop. Alexis Altenberg. Douglas Alvarez. Raymond Anderson. Noah Andres. Braden Andrew. Connor Antonelli. Stephen Ahrens. Isabella Armbruster. John Arnold. Christopher Avery. Ryan Bachman.
Emily Balderson. Sydney Barlow. Blake Barnes. Jack Barney. Marta Barrett. Mackenzie Bates. Ethan Bodine. Ryan Bazell. Campbell Beach. Andrew Beal. Aaron Beckett. Juliana Becton. Aliyah Berger. Haley Blake. Hayden Blanchard. Joshua Blevins. Emily Blum. Carissa Booker. Sydney Booz. Jaden Bowling. Samantha Bowman. Sydney Bowman. Darian Braun. Alyssa Buckle. Matthew Buckler. Alexandra Burgess. Amber Basinski. Floyd Butler. Wyatt Callahan. Shane Callahan. Mia Calzada Del Valle. Lauren Camden. Scott Carlson. Austin Carpenter. Nevea Carter. John Casamento. Selena Casey. Megan Casley. Ashanti Kathy. Carmen Cheney. Carlos Chavez.
Carter Childs. Kaylee Christensen. Noah Christopher. Ashley Cisla. Hannah Claggett. Era Clark. Lydia Clark. Andrew Claxton. Brendan Colburn. Joseph Colony. Aaron Condon. James Consoli. Diamond Conti. Ryan Conway. Tess Cool. Brett Cowson. Benjamin Cox. James Cox. Alec Coiner. Molly Croset. Whitney Crosby. Caitlin Crouch. Kara Canan. Bryce Dameron. Anna Dang. Jonathan Daniels. Carly Dare. Gabrielle Davalos. Kinde Davis. Kayla Diederich. Aviana Dent. Jalen DeVincent. Kylie Dick. Marcellus Giwantampu. Lily Durgi. Kira Doyle. Anthony Dryden. Michael Alvarez. Marissa Derschlag. Austin Eckhart.
Madeline Eads. Caitlin Edwards. Evelyn Espajo. Crystal Fisher. Morgan Flegel. Haley Four. Allison Fowler. Cooper Fulton. Kimberly Galagaza. Matthew Garland. Joseph Garvey. JC Germanero. Caden Gedick. Sean Goldsboro. Lily Golombowski. Kristen Good. Blair Goodrich. Scott Grabowski. Isabella Greenway. Hunter Griebel. Jacob Grimley. Mercedes Grimm. Sarah Groff. Devin Guagliardo. Christopher Geraldo. Kenny Guyton. Tony Guzman. Audrey Higas. Benjamin Haley. Jessica Haley. Sayla Hall. Andrew Hampton. Avery Hainsworth. Nathan Harms. Benjamin Harrington. Kaylee Hart. Michael Hebel. Brian Heim. Drew Hendricks. Augustus Hendricks.
Benjamin Hurley. Anna Hernandez Ponce. Megan Hobbs. Kayla Holden. Samuel Hopkins. James Houghton. Zachary Huggins. Vincenzo Icabani. Brandon Jasky. Dylan Jenkins. Bailey Jones. Joshua Jones. Madeline Jones. Ryan Jones. Michelle Kaufman. Megan Kazi. Noah Kemmins. Courtney Kilchenstein. Jeremiah Kirshner. Cecilia Kirkman. Shane Kirkwood. Andrew Coley. Diamond Cornegay. Stephen Kajoris. Charlotte Cradivel Lavelle. Robert Cole Cradivel. Christopher Kraus. Hannah Krasinski. Caitlin Cridler. Natalie Krozak. Julia Cummings. Jasmine Latham. Christy Lynch. Sydney Leonardi. McKenna Lev. Tyler Lev. Markaya Lovett. Marquise Lovett. Michaela Lowry. Kelly Ludden.
Antonio Luis. Jesse Luis. Mary McDonald. Mackenzie Magnolia. Randolph Maine. Carter Meisel. Gerson Canales. Thomas Manlove. Yuan Marquis. Taylor Marsh. Kylie Marsden. Anastasia Martin. Ashley Martin. Colby Martin. Dominic Martinez. Megan Masterberti. Ivy Mayer. Mary McCabe. Trey McCallum. Connor McCauley. Jessica McDade. Liam McGinnis. Seth McLaughlin. Brandon McMullen. Astrid Mejia. Madison Meyer. Matthew Miller. Sarah Miller. Savannah Mengeli. Selvin Miranda. Michael Mitchell. Mackenzie Mogul. Ethan Molman. Sierra Moore Hines. Cody Morris. Thomas Molden. Sophie Nagy. Courtney Nash. Kayla Nathkin. William Newens.
Marissa Nevins. Vivian Newcomer. Delano Nicholson. Carly Nielsen. Caitlin Norman. Zoe O'Brien. Clayna O'Hanlon. Arleth Ordanez. Alex Park. Jack Pierce. Beatrix Peck. Hannah Peterson. Hakla Peterson. Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Taylor Phelps. Joshua Pindell. Rostember Pineda. Skylar Pedraza. Colton Powers. Hannah Price. Logan Pringle. Jordan Quiz Hippie. Elijah Rada. Weston Randolph. Colby Rattel. Diana Reyes Osorio. Ethan Ridgeway. Shannon Ridgely. Taylor Riffle. Grace Riggs. John Ritz. Taylor Riser. Colby Robinson. Jada Robinson. Harper Ronain. Jada Rose. Cyril Rufinock. John Rupert. Gabrielle Russell. Savannah Russell.
Bryce Sale. Abigail Skaggs. Kai Schindler. Harrison Schultz. Quincy Scott. Marina Scotto de Perta. Eric Seiler. Justin Seward. Elizabeth Shagan. Emily Sherbert. Jamie Schlickis. Isaiah Shockley. Margaret Silver. Charles Skeens. Thomas Skeens. Deontay Cook. Caden Skinner. Grace Slakem. Summer Slakem. Jenna Smigo. Grayson Smith. Harrison Smith. Lauren Smoot. Kathleen Sonnefeld. Erica Steinbrook. Gabriel Stinchcomb. Ella Strader. Kai Stroop. Richard Strucko. Teresa Serena. Joshua Sweet. Mason Tate. Aiden T. Riley Tangwall. Madeline Thompson. Kimberly Thornton. Jacqueline Tona. Emma Trinkley. Emma Trump. Haley Turner.
Fiona Vallad. Natalie Valentine. Riley Van Lu. Andrew Van Wee. Emily Verdonk. Lindsay Verdonk. Nicholas Viardo. Najwa Victorian. Himani Viradia. Zachary Volney. Connor Wachowski. Theodore Walinskis. Connor Wallace. Carly Walsh. Cole Walton. Brett Ward. Kennedy Warren. Christina Weaver. Victoria Weaver. Sarah Welch. Isabel Whitehair. Madison Williams. Tay Williams. Grace Willis. Olivia Wynn. Catherine Wolbart. Kenneth Wanch. Parker Wynott. Eileen Yorio. Mackenzie Zader. Leland Zeitlin. Jai Ying Zing. Kanin Zukis. To certify your diplomas, which remember you will receive in June, I welcome to the podium the president of our Queen Anne's County Public Schools Board of Education, Ms. Tammy Harper. Good evening, class of 2020. As the president of the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County, I hereby certify that your diplomas represent the completion of all graduation requirements set forth by the state of Maryland and Queen Anne's County Public Schools and declare you graduates of the Kent Island High School. Congratulations, and may God bless you all. Thank you, Ms. Harper, You're meant for your many years of support of our school and for your comments tonight. Thank you. The organization of a commencement ceremony can be absolutely an overwhelming task, 
especially under the conditions in which we find ourselves. This year, the roles changed extremely. And I especially want to thank our administrative team for their countless hours of work for this ceremony. And I thank in advance all of those that are working right now for our June event so that we are able to, pre to present a meaningful and an additional memory. Class of 2020, there is one final task to complete. I would ask that the graduates only please stand. Come on, stand up. You have to stand. Graduates, stand up. Okay, so now, seniors, just hang on for a second. I have to talk to your parents. Moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, family members. I do not assume responsibility for what is going to happen in your living room. <laughs> it is customary that after the senior, seniors and I do what we're about to do, that they toss their cap. Listen, I don't want the bill for a broken ceiling fan, for a light bulb. I don't want to get an email picturing a cap stuck in the ceiling. Those are your problems now. I am just going to lead them to that point. You take over. Good luck. So seniors, here we go. Our final task of this evening. At this time, would you please symbolize the transition from candidate to graduate, from student to alumni, by moving your tassel from the right to the left, as I introduce you for the first time as Kent Island High School graduates. Congratulations. <laughs> Parents and family, I congratulate you, and I so very much look forward to seeing you in June. Thank you for this opportunity tonight, a well-respected and a well-prepared class of 2020. Well, they're all yours now. I wish you the very best. I look forward to seeing you in June. Good night.